so instantly recognised across the globe, it was used for the Queen's show-stopping acting debut for the Olympics. Half a century ago, the theme tune to Dr No launched a movie phenomenon which has outlasted all predictions, and the man who composed it and 40 minutes of soundtrack for the entire film nearly turned the job down. But producer Harry Saltzman had a sweetener. He said, uh, look, we're doing all the location work in Jamaica. Why don't you come up there and um, you can do some of the Caribbean music, get the atmosphere, bring your wife, all expenses paid. And that was the clinch. I thought, well, you can't turn that down. In Jamaica, Monty found something else he couldn't turn down, working with Ursula Andress, singing his song in the memorable beach scene. Another challenge for Monty was how to treat the violence, the blind beggars shooting. I thought, as I'm in Jamaica, I'll do a calypso. And uh, I did three blind mice in a row, three blind mice, there they go, marching down up the street, and down on the road. A calypso beat all the while, they're looking for the cat. You know, so, and that worked so well because it took the edge off it. it you realised that the James Bond film should not be taken too seriously. A legendary series like the Bond films will of course always attract its fair share of I bet you didn't know questions. Well here's one for you. I bet you didn't know that this famous theme tune nearly didn't make it. It was intended for a spot of Bollywood in the West End. At that stage it was called Bad Sign Good Sign and it went I was born with this unlucky sneeze And what is worse, I came into the world the wrong way round And so on. And it became... And then I split the notes and it became... Fifty years on, the latest Bond movie, Skyfall, will continue that tradition. The action's more realistic, but still not to be taken seriously. Phil Bales, London Tonight.